I'm loving more and more his vocals every track I do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie, and today I'm checking out And You and I from Yes. This is off of their Close to the Edge album. I'm doing this album backwards, guys. <laughs> Not starting from the first, starting from the end and working our way to the first. Um, this was actually my very first Patreon request. This was chosen by Greg. He wanted me to do And You and I, the studio version, so here we are. Um, they, this band's never steered me wrong before. Uh, this is going to be my fifth reaction to them. And uh, I already have a playlist made if you guys are interested in checking that out. But yeah, what a hell of a journey it's putting me on. And thanks, Greg, for supporting me. If you guys want to join my Patreon, get your own songs or even albums reacted to, link is in the description of this video. Or you can go on Patreon.com and search The Metal Junkie. Let's get into it. Okay. Natural harmonics. Always had the best sound with their acoustics like sounds so clear um and there's quite a bit of natural harmonics in the intro of this one with the acoustics and nowadays you know everybody's heard that before but i'm wondering back when this came out was it 1972 or three around there i wonder how popular that was then like i'm sure it's not something you heard every day and it sounds really cool these guys always pushing their limits you know uh, reinventing the wheel basically <laughs> that background is like atmospheric background so beautiful i'm loving more and more his vocals every track i do um interesting here we're getting this strumming part section on the acoustic and it sounds familiar to me for some reason but the way it's paired with that bass that bo -bo 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 or something like that it's like very contrast from each other but it seems to go together so well and oh, i'm just loving how this song is flowing so far especially with the vocals on top and we even get like some of those sci-fi almost elements on top there with like the synths or whatever at the start i love those elements as well it adds so much more flavor between the picture of time behind the face of me
feels like everything's getting louder and louder. Is it just me? Like every time uh, another vocal line comes in, it feels like the guitars and everything's just turning the volumes up just a little bit. I don't know if that's just me. that funky ass bass hell yes that's what i love about these guys they always hit you with this crazy transition with ugh, it's just full of groove every time go, leaving this like acoustic section very melodic and going into this more like ooh, like groovy ass section love it love it love it great stuff man <laughs> They're almost like whale calls or something. It just sounds so like peaceful and majestic all at the same time. This section, it like it caught like a more slower tempo, but it's like I don't know. It just feels natural to me, like as if you're in the forest here and all these this natural sounds from animals and whatnot. And like this, I think it's like the synths or the guitars or whatever in the background making these these uh, I don't know this outer world noises that I'm just loving it just sounds so damn majestic this section let's keep her going uh, and I just want to say before this when the the vocals were like harmonizing so friggin well and then I liked how it was like singing and then there was kind of this like little echo in the background of the voice so many interesting creative choices here somehow subtle but epic at the same time like 
man, it's mind blowing. It's just more of an experience than a song to me right now. Like. <laughs> Just loving his vocal delivery in this track maybe my favorite out of all the songs i did before just the little nuances in that in his voice and the flow of it na, 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 na. like and it just sounds so good so clear and this band man you could swear there's 20 people in this band at times they have such a large sound almost like an orchestra or something they're just so intricate and interesting and this guitarist he could have had a career in just acoustics man like He's so good at like folk and like the classical stuff and the almost bluegrasses type like we heard in a different track. But like he's very versatile, not only on the electric, but on the acoustic as well. He might even be better on the acoustic. Like, wow, this is very impressive. The lens of sad remains will die. Reach out as forward taste begin to enter you. I just wanted to say, again, the vocal harmonies there are just so damn good. When <clears throat> they get those voices together. And, yeah, this is just like a big-ass jam session this last, like, two minutes. They're rocking the hell out, in including the, the synths, the keyboards, and the, the pianos on top of everything else. It's just meshing so well. We're going to kick this into overdrive. Let's wrap this up. You're up Sorry, I said last pause, but I just got to mention every time they like slow the drums right down here to almost slow-mo, it gives the song a more epic feel, I find. Like everything else, it just really drives it. You wouldn't think that slowing things down would drive you forward, but it certainly does. No more pauses, I swear.
a little creepy. <laughs> and you and I could cross in the shapes of the morning. And you and I reach over the sun for the river. And you and I climb clearer towards the moon. Wow, that was And You and I. Uh, things that really stood out to me on this track were the vocals. Love his choice of words. Not, like like you guys said, a lot of times you got to take his vocals as another instrument. And doing so in this, well, I basically did that this time because I didn't have the lyrics here. and I was just so focused on the music. that. But his harmonies and his melodies just went so well with what was being played. And second... The guitarist, man, the guitarist, he really shined on this track acoustically and electric, but man, on those acoustics sounds so clean. Just the way he not only picks, but also the strums, everything was friggin' majestic sounding. So friggin' good. Uh, if I had to give one complaint, if I had to give one little nitpick out of a 10 minute long song, there's just a few of the sections. Uh, not so much the intro, because the intro, it, it built into something. I like that. But later on, when the acoustics came back, and it was, again, just like a couple of notes, like, dun, 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 dun. And then it'd be, like, quiet. And then, like, dun, 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 dun. Like, not those notes, but you know what I mean, where you just play a few notes, it'd be quiet, and then you come back. It, it, it kind of hurt the pacing of the song just a little bit for me until we got back into the groove there. I'm sure this was intentional, though. You know, this is a long prog rock song. Of course, it's going to have unexpected twists and turns. But I felt like that section there just kind of slowed things down just a little bit too much for me personally. But again, this is a first time listen. So on future uh, re-listens and that, I'm going to catch more. Things are going to fall into place a little bit better. But I still thoroughly enjoyed this. There was just that like one little section I felt like slowed things down a little too much. But overall, freaking great track. Probably my best my favorite vocal performance, probably by Yes So Far. It was just really good, man. Wow. I'm glad you guys chose this song, or specifically you, Greg. I know a lot of people commented this song as well, but uh, I'm glad you signed up for my Patreon. I really respect that, and I'm glad you're supporting me. And you picked a great band and song to do. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Again, I got a playlist of Yes on the channel if you're interested. My Patreon's in the description of this video if you're interested um, and that about wraps it up I will return with more yes don't worry guys we're making our way to close to the edge we're almost there and until next time thanks for watching <laughs>